Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ghost and check it out. We're playing another BAM 18 man free-for-all not really sure how this happens Just searching for a regular free-for-all about two months ago the last time I played Call of Duty and I ran into this So sit back and relax 17 opponents instead of seven while I talk about the spoiler free version Just basically my review of the Dark Knight Rises now. I really never do this for movies but after leaving the movie theater last night and I was just completely astonished the movie is amazing. I personally loved it. It's not because I'm a huge comic book nerd, but just everything about that movie and the way they wrapped it up to end the trilogy was pure brilliance to me. Now, the biggest thing that I thoroughly enjoyed about The Dark Knight Rises is the score. Hans Zimmer took uh, his musical genius to the next level and just left me breathless. Although, Inception has a better soundtrack, but god damn it if Dark Knight Rises is not right behind it It was just I would go see the movie for two hours and 45 minutes again Blindfolded I don't even need to watch the movie it just listen because it is ex oh, it's so good now Of course, I'm a huge Tom Hardy fan if you guys follow me on Twitter You probably already know that Tom Hardy's my favorite actor ever since I saw Bronson a couple years ago That just solidified I was like this is the best acting I've ever seen and so I've been pretty much going gay for Tom Hardy I fucking love that guy I've seen every single one of his movies even the Stuart or life backwards if you've never seen Stuart or life backwards oh my god it's like a BBC movie and his performance in that is just awesome uh, warrior is another great movie if you haven't seen warrior go watch that he's an inception he's an excellent actor I love the guy but as Bane for you not to see his mouth the entire movie basically pretty much 99.9% .9 of the movie He's acting with his eyes and you can you can just judge his emotions what he's thinking If he's enraged with his eyes and mannerisms Tom Hardy is literally he's amazing and You know his performance was excellent. I loved it But someone else really took the cake for the performance of that movie for me and you know who that was Michael fucking Kane Alfred was just it was it's crazy like I can't I could rant about this forever Michael Caine Although he was not in the movie as much as I would have liked him to be but every second he was on screen It was emotional as shit Especially near the end if you've already seen it, you know what I'm talking about There's just a scene where ah, as as a comic book nerd and growing up to see you know Bruce Wayne and Alfred their relationship and all this stuff it, it was just, it was rough. It was fucking rough, dude. As a grown man, I was like, mm, God, oh God, I can't look. Because it was uh, it was a great performance for him. Anne Hathaway as Catwoman or Selina, even though they don't call her Catwoman the entire fucking movie. Uh, obviously, everyone knows that because it's kind of pretty much known. She's she fucking Catwoman. So, um, Anne Hathaway did really good. I was kind of skeptical about her because, you know, I really didn't like her in any, in any other movies. I'm fucking stuttering. I'm talking so fast. But uh, she did really well. She pulled off Selena or Catwoman extremely well. And uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the cop, he did a great job. Can't really complain about him. He's a great actor overall. Ever since I saw him in Brick, Brick's a really good movie. You should go watch that if you haven't seen that. But Joseph Gordon-Levitt, great performance by him. The movie, all in all, was great. Now, people are saying, like, some, you know, tiny plot gaps and stuff like that. Yes, there are, but it really, I mean, just, the, the music makes up for it. <laughs> now, there are some slight, uh, like, plot gaps, but I, I would like to go into it, but that would uh, involve giving away some spoilers. But all in all, you know, it wrapped up the trilogy really well for me. I really left the theater thinking, this is good. Like, I, I would love to see another movie, but... If I don't, I'm I'm completely satisfied because they didn't leave a cliffhanger, super dramatic like crazy Inception ending. Like it closes the book, it ends the story. So I loved it. I love the movie. If you haven't seen it, go fucking see it so I can talk about the plot more. That would be a lot better. But uh, also, a lot of people are like, "Is it better than The Dark Knight?" I'm gonna say no. It was an amazing movie, but I'm sorry, Heath Ledger leaning outside the cop car. It's too much, dude. That was a great performance. Talk to you guys later.